everyone and welcome back to my channel so i thought i would just introduce this video as as i was editing it's kind of just like clips here and there and a little bit of explaining and voiceovers but basically today's video is a how i meal plan and shop and prep for lockdown and during this time in the world right now where everything's a little bit crazy um i just wanted to share how i keep organized try and be efficient with money not waste any food and how we try and make like a weekly shop last three weeks not three weeks at all <laughs> two weeks but yes yeah, so i thought i'd just introduce this video so if this is something that you think you would be interested in um just a little bit of like organization and how to keep yourself going throughout lockdown in regards to food and meals and freezer stuff and for your little ones i mean i have a one-year-old so for him as well then just keep on watching for every shop we basically go through what we have in our cupboards so we have a little look at all our like tin storage and just see what sort of things we've got, how much rice and like, um, that's garlic there. I need to get some more garlic actually. Um, pasta and stuff like that. Then obviously just check on our cereals and this is kind of like our little sweet snack box. So we could do a stocking up on that a little bit. We've got plenty of sort of savory snacks at the moment. And then we spend time just go, I mean, Dan is just reorganizing bit in depth. the freezer at the moment. Um, but we've basically just opened our freezer to have a little look at everything we've got. So obviously during this time, during a pandemic, we're trying to shop as little as possible. But also we still need to get things. So as you can see, I bag a lot of things up. So these are like some muffins I've made. This is chicken breast here. These are like little chicken sausages. There's also chicken sausages here. More muffins. These are Jasper's um, little snacks that I was kind of gifted. Uh, we've got bassa fillets here, I've got fritters chopped up, again more savoury muffins here, frozen pin rolls, all our veg and some sausages in here. And then over here again it's just more like frozen stuff. meat and all of my like veggie options there. So we're basically just getting it all out. We don't do this every time obviously, normally we have a little scan through see what we've got. But we're just getting it all out, reorganising re all the drawers because obviously it's got a little bit of chaos. And just seeing what we can, number one, make, first of all, out of what we've got. And then what we need to stock up on and what we need. And the same for the fridge. Like, we basically, our fridge is a mess. But you can see we have plenty of limes and lemons. We've got plenty of yogurts all in here so we just need to stock up and things like fruit we've got like cheeses and stuff up here which i just need to sort through some leftover pastry which i need to use so it's just about being a bit smart with your shopping um working with what you've got but also stocking up on those essentials and again just making sure we've got all our sauces which we have up here so we might need to like stock up on a few um this is kind of our basket of things we're using this week and then our other pantry is used for like extras and then this cupboard i keep under the sink as well as you can see i've got some ling uh, taglatelli some flour uh what else have i got on there i've got some uh, lentils cheerios weetabix so this is kind of like the extra extras where it's just basically a backup. And this was completely full to the brim six weeks ago at the beginning of lockdown. So we've done really well to get through what we've got rather than just buying things for the sake of it. So yeah, we are now just gonna continue to go through this and then I will show you through our way of meal planning. But this is basically what we do. We get everything out, have a good look and meal plan around that and then pick up what we need, a random pizza. Now this is all organised, we have our kind of like sweet stuff in here, so like all our frozen fruit, Jasper's frozen pouches, the muffins, ice lollies and stuff like that. Then we have our meat drawer here with fish at the front as well and just some like frozen bits of like pita bread and stuff like that as well. Then we have all of our frozen veggies in here and just some of my veggie meals. Uh, like these beetroot bean burgers, these um, broccoli bites, a deliciously Ella thing, sausages, um, and then obviously packet of frozen veg. And then in the top drawer, we just have some ice um, and some more like snacky bits. So all of Jasper's little snacks here, pastry, potato waffles, like hash browns, kind of like the bits and bobs. So now we've done that and I've written down a list. Dan's just destroying the kitchen. <laughs> 
I had written down a list. We've now written down what we have. So we're now going to take our cookbooks, which we have plenty of Joe Wicks and Jamie Oliver ones, um, and we're going to go do our meal plan. So, yeah. So here I am just grabbing the cookbooks. These are my current favourites. I always go back to these ones. I do a mixture of vegetarian and obviously meat chicken dishes as I'm pescatarian and the boys obviously eat meat as well. But I always go through and try and pick something different for each week so it keeps it interesting but it's still super fun, tasty and organised and everything's there written for you. So yeah, I literally just spend time going through them and seeing what we have and what works with what we've got in our cupboards and our freezer. So once I've selected a few recipes, as you can see here, I've selected some uh, bacon uh, potato skins and a pasta dish. So I literally just go through, decide what day I want to have them on the evening. Um, and then I also have a look at my results wellness lifestyle which used to be results of lucy they've had a brand name change um and we pick a few recipes from there again like i said i just like to keep things interesting changing things up and try and do something a bit different each week we don't like to have like the same meals all the time so i always have a little look here is some like lentil ragu um so i favorite those ones and i also look for like some veggie sausages dishes and yeah, it's just a really easy, fun way to look for recipes and it has a million, a million options. It's incredible. Google is another great source for recipes. I always, if I've got something in the freezer that I think, oh, what can I use? What can I make? I always resort to Google, whether that's to do with like veggie sausages, whatever you fancy. Like BBC Good Food is another great one. Um, as you can see here, I'm looking at like veggie sausage, sausage casseroles um, and it just comes up with loads of options. But for mainly for breakfasts and lunch, which I always plan for Jasper, Instagram is my go-to. And here is one of my favorite accounts, Eating with Alea. She has some incredible recipes recipes go and check her out on instagram i am obsessed um and then as you can see i just spend some time picking what meals we're having on what day writing them all on my meal planner which i stick on the fridge so we are so organized and know exactly what we're having when we're having it and who's having what because like i said sometimes we do have slightly different adaptations of meals but yeah as you can see i'm just showing you here what we're having And now I'm going to go through and show you what I'm doing for like lunches and breakfasts. So this is another account that I love. This is what mummy makes on Instagram. I'm sure you've all heard of her. She's incredible. And she has loads of lunchtime ideas. I really struggle sometimes with lunch ideas for Jasper. But this is why I meal plan so that I can be organized and have things ready to go. But this is just like an avocado cheese toasty. And yeah, so that's the way that I plan for Jasper's breakfasts and lunches. So as you can see, little man himself was trying to get involved and help me, but now I'm just going to show you an overview of the week and what it's looking like for meals. I find as long as I, ma I plan for three meals for Jasper all week, every day, then I'm really on top of it. We all eat the same evening meal and then lunches between Dan and I can change and the same for breakfasts. But as you can see, I also plan for snacks for Jasper and this is what keeps us just going so easily. In here is just like cleaning bits birthday card I picked myself up one of these because I bought these when we first moved house and I smashed mine and they were on offer for two pounds so pick that one up razor stuff like that Dan's just doing the fruit Jasper playing with potatoes but here's like our snacky bits treats cupboard essentials Jasper's snacks more cupboard stuff and cheesecake ingredients and then all of our fruit and veg here and then all of our like dairy fridge freezer stuff here so all of this and we also have got like toilet roll so we also got toilet roll and nappies and all of this came to like 128 pounds which sounds a lot of money but we picked up on things like Dettol, um, I picked up like face wash and face wipes and this would do us two weeks so basically it works out to be about £60 a week but that is everything on our meal plan and a few extras to tie us through for it. a so second week potatoes we're literally having potatoes thrown at us so yeah I will conclude
I've made these little like banana sandwiches for Jasper's dessert because I needed half a banana to be used up and he doesn't tend to just like eat a banana anymore which is really funny but so I've just literally done slices of banana and then sandwiched them together with this whole earth spoon of peanut butter so I'm gonna pop them in the freezer so that they like solid a little bit and they then the banana becomes more like ice cream which is actually a really good tip like banana ice cream just freeze a mash up banana I'm just gonna start on the rice and the veg while the salmon and fish is still cooking but yeah love these Tonight is Tuesday and we are having sweet leek carbonara from the Jamie Oliver Reg, Reg? <laughs> Veg recipe book, which again, I think is like almost like a five ingredient style. Um, super easy. So I've got the leeks cooking in here. They're just reducing down with garlic and thyme. They are nearly done. I'm just getting this water boiled, ready to add the tagliatelle. Um, but excuse the state of me. Um, I have not put any makeup on for a while uh, but Jasper is actually going to be having some of his leftovers from last night because he didn't eat all of it and then we tried it for lunch and he wasn't that interested so I'm not about waste so I'm going to try it again for tea so it's just um, a frozen cod fillet with the rice kilda kilda rice hi baby uh, paella rice and I've added some extra peas so he is going to have a little bit of that reheated but I am going to chop up a little bit, bit of this leek spaghetti as well and pop that on his plate um, and then I'll probably maybe give him like a little ice cream one of the banana avocado ones or he'll have uh, yogurt because he didn't have any yogurt at his lunch so yeah thought I would just let you know what we're doing and what stage we're at <laughs> I prepped tea a little bit earlier, but I didn't actually film any of it. No, I prepped tea. I just cut this myself. Thank you. No, I prepped it. Dan's just dished it up. But um, yeah, I completely forgot to film it, and our eating's been a little bit later today. But I thought I would just show you our little J bomb has got a sweet potato and a white potato. I have got sweet potato with veggies and some croquettes, which Jasper will have some of this as well. But it's just cooling down. And the same for Dan. So this recipe is a pinch of nom stuff. What are they called? Bacon and cheese potato skins. Potato skins. Um, so I've done that in there. I've done bacon and cheese in these ones with some red onion rather than spring onions. And then I've done a sweet potato one here for me and for Jas, which has tuna in with red onion as well because obviously I don't eat meat. So yeah, so... It's just a really simple, easy recipe to do, especially during lockdown. Everyone's always got potatoes at home. You can literally put any filling in whatsoever. So it's basically, you put any filling in, as long as you've got a bit of cheese, I use cream cheese, it's so cottage cheese on there, but I just use cream cheese. Then you can just put what you want in it, but yeah. Yummy. Nailed it. Hello. Nailed it, darling. Nailed the sweet potato one, huh? Tonight's dinner. It's a little red lentil veggie chilli, you can probably see it. Um, I've just done some toasted wraps, some cheese, um, some yoghurt to go with it. Not that it's hot because obviously Jasper's having it so we didn't add too much spice. Um, yeah, it's actually an Emily Norris recipe but it's actually a Hello Fresh recipe. So yeah, that is what we're having this evening. Again, super easy, store cupboard, food, red lentils, kidney beans, tomatoes, rice whatever you really want to put in there, herbs and spices, so. And obviously you don't have to have wraps, you can have whatever you got, whether that's like plain crisps or anything, pitas, toast, whatever you want to have, so. Yeah. Delish. So I have a confession. I didn't cook tonight, we were meant to have a chicken curry. Well, a curry. 
and we did excuse me i'm running the tap in the background so i'm really sorry if that's really annoying so yeah so we're gonna have a curry we did but we got a takeaway one we've not had a takeaway curry for five months um because we like to make them but we thought we'd treat ourselves so i just had a veggie curry and dan had a lambuna and then jasper had that annabelle carmel beef lasagna these are amazing these are like one year's plus two of five a day um they're just like little freezer fridge meals that take like 20 to 30 minutes in the oven but they're really good for just those lazy days where you really don't fancy cooking um but you also know that they're still going to have loads of like nutrition and stuff and he actually ate these really well he's not really had lasagna properly so he's had loads of like spaghetti bolognese but like not like lasagna sheets and he did really really well so yes he's now getting in the bath to go to bed and i'm about to clean the kitchen before we go up but yeah i wasn't not gonna come on here and say that this is what the boys were gonna have but we had a treat so i'm gonna cook that tomorrow because dan said he doesn't mind having it tomorrow anyway and i pre-cooked the chicken because i defrosted it so yeah but yeah so that is friday night's dinner for you is it friday yeah friday night dinner for you done obviously i've got chickpea curry um and the boys have both got chickpeas in there as well but i've just blitzed jasper's sauce down a bit because he'll eat it better um and then obviously dan's got chickpeas and chicken there so just serve with brown rice and i've just got one of these little ones for our jasper as well we love the curry two nights in a row two nights in a row two nights in a row video kind of cut short there guys so thank you so much for watching I hope this has helped some of you just get a few tips and tricks of how to be organized with money food cooking shopping etc and how just to make do with what we have at home and being super efficient with our money and shopping but yeah I hope you like this video guys if you did smash that thumbs up for me and if you would like to see more foodie content on my channel then please let me know in the comments below but thank you very much and I will see you next time don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye.